Okay, menacing MTG here. We have a uh, Orzov Turgrid Veto deck here with Angel. So we have multiple themes at play in this deck. I don't want to spend a time, a lot of time going through all of the cards, but I'm just going to kind of rattle through this quickly so you can get right to some cool games have some fabulous games for you to watch. Um, so uh, if you don't know, you've probably seen some of my other decks with Turgrid. Turgrid steals opponents' things when uh, you cause them to sacrifice or uh, discard. So we have a lot of that going on here. But we do have some small things that can uh, regenerate. We got one Archfiend's Vessel, one Blood Chief's Thirst, one Omen of the Dead, uh, one Village Rites, uh, four Acquisitions Experts that cause discard, one Wither Crown that you can drop on a creature and they have to either sack it or lose a life each turn, and it has a base power of zero. Um, one Righteous Valkyrie, Valkyrie rather, um, which uh, can gain you life as you bring Angels or Clerics on the board. We have quite a few Angels and a few Clerics. Um, then we have some sack. So we have Farika's Libation. You can make them set the opponent at sack either a creature or an enchantment. Soul Shatter, what an outstanding card this is. Uh, they have the opponent has to sack their most highest converted mana cost planeswalker or creature. Three of those. Two vetoes. This is a win condition. Okay, one of the many win conditions. Uh, Turgrid is the other win condition. We'll get there, but uh, a lot of these things are to specifically benefit our win conditions. Uh, we have one Murder's Rider here, uh, remove Planeswalkers or Creatures, and it's a lifelink creature. Uh, lifelink is important in this deck as well. Uh, we have three Nighthawk Scavengers, does all that stuff, flying, death touch, lifelink, um, blocker, um, life gain, flyer. Uh, one Ascent of the Worthy, uh, you choose a creature, uh, and any damage that would be dealt uh has to has to be uh they have to block this creature in other words um then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield so it's also uh angel warrior with a flying counter on it and just do its other types cool little card a couple luris for bringing small stuff back that include wither crown archfiend's vessel we know that stunt um what else do we have here omen of the dead can be reused Acquisitions experts. So all those things can regenerate with Luris. He's also a lifelink creature. Um, three Skull Raid. I am in love with this card, folks. This is a common card. You can foretell it for two to make an opponent ditch two cards. Plus, if they don't have two, you get to um, draw cards um, to make up the difference. It's an amazing card. Okay, then we have uh, one Vengeful Reaper. And I like this card. It's not, it's probably. The weakest flyer in, of the bunch, but it does foretell. So that's got high value. If you happen to get this in your opening hand, uh, you can foretell it right away, be able to bring it on and come in uh, with haste and death touch and flying. Great blocker as well. Okay, so then we have uh, Eradica Eradicator um, Valkyrie. And this is, we have two of these in here, and it is a mythic four drop. Flying Lifelink Hexproof from Planeswalkers, but um, also very important is its boast ability, sacrifice one of your creatures, which hopefully would be an Acquisitions Expert. And um, you don't have to sack, by the way, but if you want to do this, you can do this. Then it causes the opponent to sacrifice a creature or Planeswalker, which if you have Turgrid on the board, you then possess that. So excellent mechanism there. Then we have... Uh, Firja's Retribution, if you haven't seen my Saga um, video, watch that. This is a powerful um, Saga. Create a 4-4 Angel Warrior token with flying and vigilance, worth the price already. Uh, until end of turn, Angels you get have tap, destroy a creature with uh, less power. Um, and then the last turn, the third turn, Angels you control contain... Uh, control gain double strike until end of turn all right so we will take a quick count of the angels we do have but here's two more bane slayer angel 
Flying First Strike Lifelink Protection from Demons and Dragons. Outstanding card. Three Turgrid, and you can use the Lantern too. Um, both are legendary. Just an amazing combo in itself. And then the land base, real quick five planes, um, one Castle Lockthwain, um, 11 swamps, three bright, bright climb pathways, one great hall. You can sack this and pay two white mana, one black, and create a 4 4 angel warrior creature token with flying and vigilance. You can do this when it's sorcery time. Uh, then we have three fable passage. And that is the whole thing. So let's take a quick count of the angels we have on board here. One is the righteous. Next, we have uh, the vengeful reefer. So that's two. Also, the eradicator is an angel. So that's four. You can create one here, five. Six, seven. So you have seven angels in this deck, and most of them gain you life. And of course, the Nighthawk Scavenger does as well. <clears throat> These all benefit the whole um, veto component to this deck. So you can see that there's deep synergy here. Now, I'd love to have <clears throat> another one of these righteous uh, Valkyrie in hand in, in this deck <clears throat> because. Whenever an angel or a cleric now, so you, you know that we have seven angels. We also have a couple of clerics here. Whenever any, any of those enter the battlefield, you gain lifeness equal to that creature's toughness. Okay. So even just um, Vito coming on the board would gain you three life. Vito would do three damage in turn. And if you have seven life more than your starting total, Creatures you control get plus two, plus two. So you can see this is a high impact card. So if you wanted to build this deck and you wanted to ditch, say, one of the Mer Nighthawk Scavengers, although they're really valuable because they have Death Touch and they have Lifelink, uh, having two of these in here would be a really great number. I would probably ditch the Vengeful Reaper if I, if I was to able to get another one of these. So you could make that upgrade if you have the uh, wild cards or the necessary cards. Um, so again, um, things that benefit Turgrid really quick are Wither Crown, Acquisitions Expert, Soul Shatter, um, Farika's Libation, and I think that's it. Those are the cards. Um, as you know, if Archivine's Vessel dies, bring on Lurus, bring it back. It's a 5-5 five five Demon Token. So we have all kinds of things going on here. Um, just a tad of regeneration. So uh, yeah, play this deck. Love this deck. Turgrid is boss here. Um, but the supporting cast, angels, um, regeneration, death touch, lifelink. I mean, all the things that make up black, good black and good black and white decks. It's all in here, okay? So um, it's amazing that we have some black angels emerging that allow us to do a diverse deck like this. So, uh, yeah, have a great day. Enjoy the videos. Okay, this is a good hand. Um, be looking for more black mana and we'll be in good shape. Okay, there it is. A little bit slow here. We gotta wait till uh, three drops to get things going. But if pressed, we can use Murderous Rider at that point. And right now, what we'll do is put Skull Raid into Fortel. Unfortunately, going second against Blue White here, Azorius. Okay, do not like the look of this. I guess we gotta try Veto here. Expecting a counter. Yeah. Okay. We have an uphill battle ahead of us, I believe. 
Get something in Fertel, which gives us a major opportunity here. And if they cannot get Eradicator off the board, it can use its boast ability next turn and we can run skull raid i'm sure they'll have a, a, a something to say about skull raid but they can't stop the valakry's uh boast to the best of my knowledge just hoping that lasts okay this is good Creature, so cancel that. Forget about that. We have two mana available. We'll see if they've got a counter spell. It's probably in Fortel. We're keeping the pressure on them at this point, and they do ditch two cards there. And pretty sturdy cards. So we've got them running fairly lean here. They got lots of mana on the board. Seven mana available. Make that eight. But only one card and a Fertel card, so we'll see what we can run here. Alright, so now with five mana. They've got nothing available here. They do have Shark Typhoon up. Um, I guess we got to go Bane Slayer. Okay. Pretty sturdy creature lot here, but they can bring on something of note with Shark Typhoon, I'm sure. We can kill something with Murderous Rider and run. Skull Raid, and that is not good. Not good at all. Okay. <clears throat> We've only got one card in hand. It is in Fortel. Um, yeah, what we're going to do here is run Skull Raid. And they'll be empty-handed. Okay, and they run it, and that allows them to um, create a 3-3 three, three flyer with Shark Typhoon. And we'll be looking for, Re for Farika's Libation here. So at this point, just looking at my hand, I think what I will do is um, bring up the Nighthawk Scavenger. Okay, that's excellent. They have nothing going here, and they're going to draw cards but only have one mana, so we're free to uh, take actions here. We have six mana, so now we have to go get Bane Slayer. And on it comes. And we will not attack at this moment. We're hoping for no more Doom Scars for a bit. Tons of land, Dream Trawler, okay. And this is fabulous because uh, Soul Shatter, they're tapped out here. Soul Shatter will take their strongest, their highest converted mana cost creature off the board. And let's see. We're going to run that. So we'll get rid of Trawler, which is huge. They can tap it or whatever. It's not going to help. So they don't bother doing that and ditching a card. Um, and at this point, we'll come in and get rid of... Let's see if they got a counter spell. They do not. They only had one mana anyway. And this is going to be vicious for them. 
Okay, most excellent. And we are in the driver's seat at this point. Not that this is over by any means, but oh, they have land. And they're going to have to draw two cards and they'll put a flyer on the board. But this should be game. They do have four mana, so maybe they've got something they can do here to create another flyer. And they don't, so that's game. Okay, uh, I'll take this hand. It's going to be moving a bit slow, but we got some one drop things, two drop things. grid in hand. Okay, soul shatter. I think we're going to get uh, acquisitions expert right up. Okay, counterspell gone. I'm sure there's many more. Okay, so definitely looking at some card draw in this deck, some counter spells, probably some kill spells, some burn. So. All right, yeah, there's the card draw. Okay, this is time for village rights. And they've used their mana, so that's great. Hopefully we have some options. Didn't get any land, so that's too bad. No land. Okay, I guess we just got to get rid of the Pyromancer. Okay, there's a land. It's slow moving, but uh, we'll throw up a scavenger.
All right, that's good news. Brilliant. So at this point, we can bring up Luris and grab the acquisitions expert from the graveyard and force the opponent to remove something. And Turgrid next turn. Okay, get a negate out of there. We'll come in with the scavenger. And with the scavenger on the board, oh, they take out Loris. Okay, we have another in hand. They're going to be compelled to get a flyer on the board. So I'm hoping that they that overrides their uh, hope to. Okay, that's great. That means that uh, Triggered will come on the board. So that's fabulous. And that might be the end for them there. Um, you know, both. And we have an acquisitions expert in hand. So again, they're going to want to get a flyer on the board, but there's big problems afoot. We have Soul Shatter. Okay, they get a fifth land that's helpful for them. This deck is going to be challenged to remove on Turgrid. And they have the Sprite, but that's not going to help them short run. I'm pretty sure they can't run two spells. Yeah, that's about it, folks. So um, what I think is best here is to go ahead and run Soul Shatter. They may. Um, okay, we'll take Sprite. And then Acquisitions Expert, and they'll ditch, and they'll have to hand over something. A mountain, well, we'll take it. Okay, and now we can come on in with everything. get a fire on the board and it's over folks a quick and dirty win there